Skinner and Demulis in Richfield Springs, and R.A. Dudrek, the Window King, present Mohawk Valley Living, exploring the arts, culture, and heritage of our region. A special good morning to Tom and Amanda watching at camp in Sylvan Beach. Good morning and welcome to Mohawk Valley Living. Today we are going to New Hartford and we are going to also visit one of the tiny hamlets there, Chadwick's. Chadwick's was named for the Chadwick family, most notably Helene Chadwick, who was a very, very famous silent movie star. But when the talkies came in, it turned out that her voice wasn't all that great, and that was the end of Helene Chadwick. So come along as we take a tour of the town of New Hartford. Today at noon, there's a garden railroad tour at the Kramer's house in Rome, featuring 1930s America with a small town, an airport, and a circus. See the G-Scale Railroad with more than 300 feet of track at the Garden Railroad Tour at East Carter Road in Rome. Special thanks to our presenting sponsor, R.A. Dudrak, for making the show possible. We have featured the town of New Hartford dozens of times over the years. This is the destination for shopping, where chain stores and local mom and pops stand shoulder to shoulder beckoning for your business. Ravenswood Comics has withstood the test of time with loyal customers who flock here for new releases and collectible back issues. It keeps owner Janine Julian busy, but we see it hasn't kept her from new creative pursuits. Well, our special event this year, it, we are celebrating our 30th anniversary at Ravenswood Comics. Hard to believe. Hard to believe. Happy though. Very, very, very happy and excited. We have seen ups and downs and made our way through. And I believe in the past few years, um, even with the economy being a little low, uh, the movies that they're producing right now have been so wonderful. And with the television shows that are going on, Big Bang Theory, The Walking Dead, it's really given the industry a boost. Now you've taken some um, another hobby besides the comic book. I have. What you been up to? I started uh, pottery at Munson William Proctor Institute about six years ago. A dear friend of mine, Sue, encouraged me to uh, take up the hobby, and I'm hooked. Um, I think I was a farmer in one of my former lives because I love playing in the dirt, and this is as close as you can get to a playing in a puddle of mud. <laughs> Yes, I do have pottery for sale right here at Ravenswood, so stop on by. And also, we have a new shop in town uh, called Signature 81. A lovely lady by the name of Crystal has opened up a shop, and she is showcasing uh, local artisans' wares. So I'm doing quite a little business from there. It's a lot of fun. When I was a teenager, I bought this comic. Back then, it cost 10 cents. Now, if you want to buy it, it is... $300. Can you imagine $300? If only I'd kept them. We take Janine's advice and travel down Kellogg Road near Piggy Pats to the new Signature 81. We head downstairs and find a cheerful gallery and gift shop where we are greeted by a just as cheerful Crystal Mori. She tells us they have gallery nights featuring a new artist every week, as well as art classes. We will definitely have to come back on a future road trip. We'll be right back with more adventures in New Hartford after the break. Watch Mohawk Valley Living, Sundays on Fox 33 and WUTR. And coming soon, a new magazine featuring show summaries, maps, guides, and more. Watch the show every Sunday and pick up the free Mohawk Valley Living magazine coming this fall. Here's what's hot on the lot at Skinner and Demulis. Check out this sweet 2010 Buick LaCrosse with less than 40,000 miles. Was $22,995, now $19,995. Mohawk Valley Living fans save another grand, now $18,995 at Skinner and Demulis. Everyone knows the Window King for windows because he's been selling good windows cheap for years. 
But R.A. Dudrek is much more than windows. He's windows and doors, kitchens and floors. So, whether you're looking for energy efficient windows to save money this winter, or a new kitchen to brighten up those long winter months, the Window King has it all. Visit their showroom in beautiful Holland Patton and see for yourself why R.A. Dudrak is the Window King. Stroll, shop, and rock in the village of Clinton. 34 local artists have transformed handcrafted rockers into original, functional works of art. Be sure to bid on your favorite during Art Rocks in Clinton. Presented by StaffWorks. Melrose Supermarket is your family hometown market. Known for their choice hand-cut meats, homemade breads, and fresh pastas and salads. Check out the weekly specials at Melrose Supermarket, East Main Street in Frankfurt. Summer fashion at a fraction. During the summer clearance, save up to 40% on colorful, fun-to-wear summer clothing. On sale now at the Village Crossing in Clinton. Experience life in the 1800s at the Farmer's Museum in Cooperstown. Tour historic village and peek inside to see tradespeople at work. Visit the Lippet Farmstead, a living example of a mid-19th century farm. And take a ride on the magical Empire State Carousel at the Farmer's Museum in Cooperstown. Savor the flavor of authentic Southeast Asian cuisine at the Lotus Garden Noodle and Sushi House. The Pooh family welcomes you to lunch or dinner at the Lotus Garden, behind the Stanley Theater on King Street in Utica. The Blues are in at North Star Orchards, and it's a banner blueberry year. You Pick is now open, so come enjoy harvesting your own. Or pick up fresh-picked blueberries and North Star's famous frosted blueberry cookies at North Star Orchards, Route 233, Westmoreland. Today from noon to four is an artist studio tour in Unadilla Forks, West Winfield and Bridgewater. Pick up your booklet with maps and GPS locations at 6949 County Highway 18. The cost is $5 for the artist studio tour today in Unadilla Forks. Special thanks to Skinner and Demulis for keeping Mohawk Valley living on the road. Stop in and say hi to the guys at Skinner and Demulis in Richfield Springs. When you drive around New Hartford these days, you see a populated town with beautiful neighborhoods and of course many shopping opportunities. But when you look into its past, like we have done dozens of times at the New Hartford Historical Society, you'll discover a rich farming history. The countryside was dotted with dairy farms. So many farms, in fact, that historian Barbara Kucher has managed to fill two books so far, documenting the farms and farming families of New Hartford. Uh, in the early 1900s, there were many farms, almost 200, and anywhere from eight cows to um, about 40 back then. Uh, today now there are uh, larger farms, but everyone would just bottle their milk and deliver it to their neighbors. Today there are only two farms with cows, uh, one with cash cropping, and that's about it. That's about it. Well, it was a wonderful time. Uh, anyone who grew up on a farm and say they've moved to California now, uh, they still think about it. They dream about it. It, it's a wonderful life, a hard life. Uh, you, the men work 24-7 and so do the wives. Uh, cooking and cooking and cooking. <laughs> um, so it's just, it's just a fun thing to look back on. Take me back. Of yesterday. We head out to visit one of the only two dairy farms left in the town of New Hartford. In the small hamlet of Chadwick's, we find Collins Knoll Farm. The Collins family bought the farm in the 1950s with 78 acres. Now third and fourth generation Collins work 2,400 acres with a growing herd to meet the growing demand for local milk. 
We are given a tour by Ken and Candy, who are proud of their team, including herdswoman Megan. We meet the content cows in their bright, breezy barn, right next to the new barn being raised to accommodate the growing herd. My family's been in the dairy business for years. My dad bought this farm in 1954 after the uh, bleach tree closed down. They wanted him to go to Georgia, and he decided, no, nope, he's going to go farming. So he went farming full time. So that was in 1954. My wife and myself came back on the farm in 1971. We rented it for five years, and then we bought it in 1976 from my parents. We try to keep them content. They say a cow grooms himself about 20% of the time. So by having these automatic brushes, it cuts down their grooming time so they can eat, and, you know, lay down and chew their cud and make more milk. The whole, is, the whole thing is to see how much milk production you can get out of these girls. Uh, we have water beds in our new barns. We're at putting an addition on for another 200 cows and that's going to have water beds in it, back scratchers. Uh, I love farming. I went to college for computer programming. I hated it. So I got out of it. I did what I loved doing. And my son, I have three sons all in business, and they chose, they came back one at a time and asked if I had room for them, and then we formed a partnership. In the sand, I kiss you, the sky is blue. We got nothing better to do. Let's stay this way. Let's stay this is age forever. When you drive along residential Jordan Road in New Hartford, you can't miss the colorful slate roof and stately architecture of St. Margaret's House and Ecumenical Center. Overseen by stewards Tom and Barbara Groves, it was once home to the Society of St. Margaret's Sisters, who ministered to the communities of Utica and New Hartford from 1937 to 2009. Although the sisters have moved away back to their convent in Boston, their mission lives on here as a spiritual retreat. This came about as a gift, basically, of Rachel Munson Williams Proctor, who wanted to have the Sisters of St. Margaret an Episcopal order of nuns to live in the area and do ministry in the area. And she had this built. Um, she passed away before it was finished, but her family carried through and the sisters uh, lived here since 1938 until four years ago. The nuns who lived here were very involved in ministry at Grace Church Utica. Um, they started the Samaritan Center and the Drop-In Center and that kind of thing. Uh, they also started Emmaus House. And there is still ministry going on in the community financially that they worked with over the years. The grounds here are seated on eight and a half acres of land. Um, we have the building, we have walking paths, we have woods. Um, it's enjoyed by adults and children and youth and um, I've even had kids sliding down the front slope in the winter time. So it's, the grounds are used in a lot of ways, but they're relatively untouched and very natural. It's a very peaceful, natural place to be. The Landmark Society of Greater Utica invites you on a guided tour of St. Margaret's House and Ecumenical Center on Monday, August 19th at 6.30 p.m. Meet here at 47 Jordan Road in New Hartford for this free informative tour of St. Margaret's House. Just trying to find my way back home. Just trying to find my way Here's what's hot on the lot at Skinner and Demulis. Check out this sweet 2010 Buick LaCrosse with less than 40,000 miles. Was $22,995, now $19,995. Mohawk Valley Living fans save another grand, now $18,995 at Skinner and Demulis. Mark your calendars for the 8th Annual Clinton Art and Music Festival, Saturday, August 24th, featuring all forms of art and all kinds of music. Also, children's activities, food, and fun at the 8th Annual Clinton Art and Music Festival, Saturday, August 24th. 
Watch regional artists capture the beauty of Old Forge Labor Day weekend during the plein air paint out presented by VIEW. Attend the preview cocktail party Saturday night and the art auction Sunday, September 1st at 4. The Old Forge plein air paint out Labor Day weekend. For the most unique shopping experience, visit the Little Falls Antique Center and the shops at 25 West. Over 40 local vendors all under one roof. Shop local at the Little Falls Antique Center and the shops at 25 West. Always worth the drive at Canal Place in Little Falls. Brenda's Natural Foods is the natural choice for healthy local products, gluten-free and gourmet foods, personal care and natural cleaning products. Brenda's Natural Foods, West Dominic Street in Rome. Shop Shelter for handmade Adirondack furniture designed by craftsman Jim Kiefer. He works with you to create custom pieces to your specifications, from dining room and coffee tables to bookcases, beds, and bunks. Call or visit Shelter on Main Street in Old Forge. Why do contractors and do-it-yourselfers shop Lincoln Davies? It's the superior grade lumber. The value for the money. The 140 years and six generations of customer service. Since 1872, Lincoln Davies has delivered superior lumber, value, and service. And they're not about to change things now. Celebrating 140 years at the same location, just 10 minutes south of New Hartford on Summit Road between Routes 12 and 8. Lincoln Davies, building them like they used to. Call Yannick Excavating for all your residential and commercial projects, from new construction and land clearing to septic systems, driveways, basements, ponds, and topsoil. Visit YannickExcavating.com. Expecting company? Just call Deansboro Superette. They prepare delicious Middle Eastern platters for any number of guests. Call 841-4377. Something in you Just can't explain the sun that shines down Bright colors We stay in the sand All the stones we carry They remain Since New Hartford is known as a shopping destination, we check out some of the shops at the New Hartford Shopping Center. A bright, happy sign near the center court attracts our attention. Lizzie's Cupcakery is a brand new shop with a carnival-like atmosphere, serving up fun cupcakes, candies, and coffee. You want to talk variety? They have pink lemonade, they have coconut cake, they have chocolate, uh, they even have shark cakes. But being the old-fashioned guy that I am, what did I choose but the good old-fashioned vanilla? Um, just because there was such a big demand and my house couldn't, what we were producing couldn't fit in our house pretty much. I work about 16 hours a day and I get here at about maybe 5 in the morning. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. So it's a dream come true. It's, it's worth it. Yeah, it's a dream come true. And what do you like most about it? Um, I just like working for myself, but I also like making what I love. We hear that Lizzie's neighbor at CNY Awards and Apparel is a fan of her doggy cupcakes. Leroy is the active little mascot of this busy screen printing and awards company. For over 40 years, they have been making custom printed banners, screen printing, vinyl graphics, engravings, awards, and trophies. They strive to stay on top of the latest technology, including direct printing on new sports fabrics. Sublimation, direct the garment, we can do it for schools, for teams, for organizations, for businesses. Um, basically, it's a wicking material now, draws the moisture off the body. It allows us to print right on the garment, the coolest and the coolest going. Sitting here, I watch the world go by. Watching all the things they will wave goodbye. It makes everything all right. We head across the parking lot to center stage pianos. Owner Doug Krause is a piano technician and restoration specialist whose fascination with pianos stems from his love of music and interest in applied physics. He gives us a brief history of the evolution of the instrument. 
Well, the, the Brian piano was probably first in the design because it was grown out of the harpsichord. So the idea that you could take a piano and flip it on its back and invert the structure occurred in the mid-1800s when they started making box pianos. Um, square grands kind of came out of that, but they didn't really last because they were not a very good design. There's a lot of problems with square grand design, where the upright grand, as they were called at that time, actually caught on and is very continuous today. For lunch, we head to Italy in the village of New Hartford at Cafe Cannoli Bistro and Pastry Shop. We're greeted with a friendly smile by owner and chef Dean Knoll. When we last visited him six years ago, he and his brother Jason were on Culver Ave in East Utica. Now they have Encora's restaurant downtown and this new bistro and bakery shop in New Hartford. Growing up, these two brothers developed a passion for fine cuisine that took them away to culinary school and around the world. They reunited in Utica in 1996 to open their first cafe. It's 17 years ago, which is crazy because we were looking September, um, was it September 21st, 1996. So we'll be going on our 18th year and, and it's, it's crazy. It's, it's been a great run, so a lot of ups and ever, downs. Did you ever imagine this when you started? No, no. In fact, I remember the, the week before we opened up, we were so excited down on Culver Ave. And then the day we were going to open, we weren't going to open till 4 o'clock. We had people at the door. There was a line. It was so exciting. We ended up opening up early, and it was the longest day ever. I think we were there from 5 in the morning till 2 in the morning, but it was so well worth it. It was great. Okay, with this place, we're trying to keep tradition like we did on, on Culver. You know, even though we're doing a lot of Italian food, we kind of classify it as cafe cannolis. This way, we can do a little bit of Mediterranean, but we try to keep to the Italian roots. On Cora, we were doing more of like Spanish tapas and some more um, smaller bites and, and, and more of a bar scene. So, so far everything's going good and we got both going. We're running back and forth. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we do all the bread here for both restaurants. For Cafe and Encore, we do the gelatos, we send down the desserts. Both places are doing crepes. So, you know, we're very happy so far. We're getting a lot of uh, catering, a lot of weddings. You know, we, we have all of our family here. We, we, you know, we love Utica and the people. We only wish maybe it was a little bit bigger. We wish, you know, hopefully it grows, more, more young people stay. That's our big wish, so. But we're trying, you know, we're trying to get a little niche and go forward and hopefully many, many years. Well, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> well, thank you. Thanks for coming. I really appreciate it. So. Cafe Cannoli Bistro and Pastry Shop is open for lunch Wednesday through Saturday, 11.30 to 2.30, and dinner Tuesday through Saturday, 4 to 9, at One Campion Road in New Hartford. We drive into the countryside up Red Hill Road to the Mum Farm. We are greeted by Shelley and Carlton Corey who show us that they're much more than mums. They also grow unique and unusual annuals, perennials, and shrubs. They've even expanded into the old barn, upstairs and down, with garden statuary, containers, teak furniture, and endless possibilities. But it all still comes down to growing the best hardy mums. The Corys grow 2,000 varieties, over 12,000 mums in all. My mother, um is actually a mum hybridizer and so we have 2,000 of her mums each year that we trial here and each, each one's different from the next so it's wonderful to go out in the field when they start to bloom because each one is different so we have very unique colors here. Seeing the plants grow in the spring is what keeps me in this. It's amazing and actually I have a background in floral design so I put the two of them together I love growing the plants and I also love um, putting combinations together and doing window boxes and doing patio planters for whether it be businesses or homeowners. That's what really I love to do. And you married a, a gardener too. That's right. Uh, Carl and I met at Cornell and he's just as much into this as I am. We started off as just growing mums. But over the years, we have gone into the spring annuals, so we're much more than mums. We have all the spring plants, we have flowering shrubs, we have all the garden um, accessories also, pots, fountains, uh, bird baths, teak furniture, wind chimes, anything you might need for your garden. 
Take a scenic Sunday drive to the Mum Farm, located one mile from Oneida Street at 9011 Red Hill Road in New Hartford. They are open Tuesday through Friday 9 to 6 and Saturday and Sunday 9 to 5. Check them out on Facebook and online at mumfarm.com. In 1866, James B. Turnbull walked to farms and villages to visit his customers, earning their trust. Today, the fourth generation of Turnbulls continue that dedication, tailoring a life insurance plan to suit your unique needs and priorities. Turn to the company that is out there to earn your trust. Turn to Turnbull. You keep saying you're going to do something about your back and joint pain. Call Dr. Michael Tucherone, one of the area's only K-Laser Therapy chiropractors, the most advanced non-invasive treatment of acute and chronic pain. Call 853-6225 and embark on your wellness journey today. Hi, Dr. Tom. Bringing your cat to the Paris Hill Cat Hospital on Sundays is a part of Mohawk Valley Living. Come inside and see why. Paris Hill Cat Hospital, this is Lindsay. How can I help you? Hello, Mrs. Cole. Your cat is losing weight and you need an appointment? And you're only available on weekends. Sure, I have an available appointment with Dr. Karen Sunday at 2 p.m. Does that fit into your schedule? Okay. We're open seven days a week because we know that your cat can become ill anytime. The Paris Hill Cat Hospital, quality care for your cats and kittens. That special art, photograph, or memorabilia deserves a special frame. Oscars creates one-of-a-kind gold and silver leaf mirrors and frames. Oscars Picture Framing, 12 Kellogg Road, New Hartford. Have a tropical adventure and walk among hundreds of free-flying butterflies, tropical birds, plants, lizards, and frogs at the Pop Butterfly Conservatory. It's an unforgettable experience for all ages. Open seven days a week on Route 7 in Oneonta. When you shop Milan's Market, you'll be the grill master. That's because every hot dog, beef patty, and sausage is made by Bob Milan himself. Find everything for your next cookout from store-made meats to fresh salads and tabbouleh at Milan's Market at the Four Corners in Clark Mills. Experience the Fenimore Art Museum overlooking beautiful Otsego Lake. Spend the day exploring the permanent collection of American Indian art and one of the nation's largest collections of American folk art. Current exhibitions this summer include The Wyeths, a family legacy, including works by N.C. Wyeth, Andrew Wyeth, James, Carolyn, Henriette, and her husband Peter at the Fenimore Art Museum in Cooperstown. Experience old-fashioned home cooking at the Cuyuta Drive-In. Enjoy fish fries, homemade soups and salads, and prime rib dinners every Saturday night. Open daily for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and ice cream. The Cuyuta Drive-In in Remsen, an Adirondack tradition since 1963. Tom's Natural Foods is your connection to local farms for natural and organic fruits and vegetables, meats, eggs, cheeses, and other milk products at Tom's Natural Foods in Clinton, naturally. We hope that you enjoyed today's show with its farms, food, and flowers, and that you will join us again next week. Between now and then, enjoy Mohawk Valley living. Hi, honey.